Is it recording? Yeah. This is my shop. Arms over there, legs over there. Over there are the facial structures. You want to look like some kind of famous celebrity? I just download one of my facial scans, whip it up. Can we have your name, please? Neil D. Darrell. And uh, what would you describe yourself as? Cater to the curious, overly vain, or those in need of spicing up their love life. This is one of the new vat-grown ones. You can have the iris in any color, no extra charge. It'll see infrared and night vision. Of course, everything that goes in can be recorded, but you have to pay extra for the device. So, do you have any arm or leg concealers? No! I got ethics, you know. If you want something like that, go to the Triad or the Yakuza. I don't deal with sad addicts who just want to ghost other people. And, uh, how did you grow up with this? I was really fascinated by cybernetics when I was young. Now, I sell people specialty items you can't get anywhere else. If you want it, if you can even imagine it, I got it. Nobody really had a clue that the combination of synthetic and biological nerves would be the most important breakthrough of the 21st century. Everyone thought that it would be you know, flying cars or spaceships. Nobody really thought it would be something so internal and close to home. It began in the early 20s, but didn't become widespread until about a decade later. The first 10 years were all testing experiments. We were able to manipulate the artificial nerves on the prosthetic at a cellular level. Nanoparticles in the connection were fitted to trick the biological cells into believing that the prosthetic was 100% pure human. This meant no rejection and complete control from the user. For any skeletal parts, you had metal. Strong, indestructible, great frame. Muscles were biologically engineered. If you wanted an organ, it could be vat grown. Originally, prosthetics were only used as supports. They were never intended to go past what your normal body could do. They were simply used to help you from a day-to-day -day basis. And when it went beyond medical treatment and became cosmetic, that's when the real controversy began. People realized, why leave cybernetics to the disabled? Why stop with just one part or organ? Why not just augment your whole body? So, how much of your body is human? Whole body augmentation quickly became a popular medical procedure that had once been reserved for people with life-ending diseases. It was just like any other normal operation, except everything but the brain was removed. And suddenly everyone was debating about the ethics of getting an augmentation. This stuff isn't natural, and this can't be the original, and so on. I don't see a problem with it, but what I do see a problem with is all these religious people attacking it. They're all the same, you make something different, and they all freak out. I'm not even religious, and I don't like it. Just the thought of my brain being taken to my body and put into a jar is nightmare food for me. Americans believe in the independence of an individual. We don't want to rely too much on technology and fear that it will corrupt us. I know some people choose to do this because of vanity or ego, but for me, it was different. I didn't like the feeling of my old body. It felt fragile. I chose to do this. I chose to go full body, and I have no regrets. We were created by God in His own image. For people so imperfect to try and copy the work of the flawless and almighty God is mockery. In doing this, companies such as Free Radical believe they are above God and His judgment. A lot of the criticism was directed towards an organization that is widely accredited for bringing about the augmentations, the Free Radical Corporation. Oh, bless the guys at Free Radical. They always make such great stuff. Oh, right. Free Radical. And you thought Walmart was evil. F*** Free Radical. They're a hive mind of suits whose only goal is the destruction of the American free market philosophy, which will further build their new world order. Ah! Yeah, there's a lot of news of it up in Asia, and uh, personally, I think it's way too expensive. All you're paying for is the name, so when the hype dies down, so does the cost, so I'm waiting for that. So, das ist wie Amerika, es gibt unter Kulturen, das die Technologie einsetzen hat, aber es ist nicht noch Mainstream. Die große Frage ist, wohin können wir gehen? Some people think they can live life like they used to if they try hard enough, but they're just in denial. Once the technology's there, you can't go back. 
I think it's a wonderful breakthrough that's going to help us in the future. And if you don't want cybernetics, don't get them. 神经机械学有很多可以被人们利用的缺点，但同时它也会给人们带来很多的益处。它的利弊一直都是双面的，完全取决于人类如何运用它们。It's all just the same as my views on gun control. If you want to have your guns, fine. If you want to have your technology, fine. But you have to be responsible. Do you have a cell phone, glasses, or headphones? Then you already have cybernetics. So what's your opinion? Well, I I don't really want to say. Come come on, come on. What do you think? Listen, it's not about what I think. 